So you guys did amazing jobs. Both of your characters are kind of extreme. Um, what kind of research did you do to get into this role? Well, for my character, um, Jalil, he hits home a little bit, for me a little bit, in the musical interest, dad who is powerful in a sense. Um, but outside of that, you know, just as that front that Jalil puts on is a little, a little more than who I am as a person. So I had to, you know, a couple of little gangster movies that we watch, you know, The Boys in the Hood, those coming of age films, of course, also help. You know, but then it's like, everything has to be real life, you know? So once you apply that trueness from real life to the character, you can all have, that's why it has five, six, seven, eight, nine takes, because you could just explore, you know what I mean? Have fun with it, and that's, you know, what I did. Um, well, I guess I just, um, I watched a few trippy films and went online and just kind of, you know, just did that type of research, and, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's a ton of videos on YouTube that you could probably get Yeah, a lot that's of pretty easy. From. Is there anyone that, like, kind of stood out to you that you based your character on? No, um, I just took direction from Rick and what he wanted, and you know that's kind of how I, I just kind of got into character on set. And did how it. was things on set when you were, I guess, naked in front of all these guys? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there was a bunch of cast there too. Well, it was very. It was like it was a close set, so um, and everybody was very respectful. Um, I'm very comfortable with myself, so it's very easy for me to do the do the part and. And um, yeah, it was just it was it wasn't so it was easy. <laughs> well, um, you have to kind of shoot yourself in the leg. Um, how was that? Uh, how did you sell that? <laughs> yeah, uh, it definitely was something where it wasn't one of those where I just show up and think you know I re I really had to work with the you know the the I guess the pyro masters who are you know everybody dealing with the special effects you know it's all about angles it's all about positioning and stuff like that and everything you know some things are remote and you know there's a way the you know the way the film world works you know you really have to listen and take direction because one wrong thing can you know it can mess everything up and you know you want to sell the shot so it definitely was you know just staying focused and, and listening to you know the special effects coaches and you know we made it happen okay when reading the script what made you want to play that character um the whole story itself, you know, is what drew, drew me to the project just because it was told in such a manner where I don't care who you are, what race, what language you speak, you know, with the subtitles, you're going to understand everything, you know, and the story was just told in a, in a brilliant way and, you know, my addition to it just, you know, it, it's fun, you know, because, you know, it was, you know, dealing with these three interesting individuals coming into a lifestyle that they know nothing about, you know, I was able to kind of like, you know, control that in a sense and, you know, it made it, you know, believable, so. So how much of yourselves did you guys put into your characters? I mean, they're extreme characters, but you must have brought something to your... Yeah. Um, you know, I think for, for to play Lily, it's like I am not like Lily at all. <laughs> um, but I think everybody has a little bit of a dark side to them, and, you know, I, I got to bring that out a little bit through her.